Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Dynasty Warriors, rather, Romance of Three Kingdoms, excuse me, sorry. Romance of Three Kingdoms 13, um, we're playing hero mode with Sun Jin, we have taken the old capital, we've rebuilt it somewhat, we still have negative income because I'm just spending too much money. Um, spending too much money doing things that isn't increasing commerce. Now I, I'm thinking like we really could at this point just concentrate on commerce, try to get, try to get some more income going, whatever. But now it's like nope, let's just freaking um, march out of the city. We've rebuilt it somewhat. I mean, the people can't be too upset with us. It's better than it was when Dong Dongi was here or when Dongi left. But it's pretty much time for us to attack. We were kind of waiting on something. Oh, he's only got 28,000 now. Oh, his army is coming towards us. That's kind of surprising. I was getting his city here confused with... Yeah, unless I'm crazy, he's actually... I guess he's sick of waiting for us? No, he's... That's right, this is where he's supposed to be. Okay. Oh, we gotta deploy from Luo Yang. We'll auto form our let's do our troop strength. Max. Yeah, so we'll have the biggest army we can do. We'll have REM supplies. We only have 120 days to do it because we're bringing so many troops along. Maybe we want to go back to auto. We're leaving 10,000 troops. We're bringing a total of 31,000. We'll have 150 days with some supplies left. Or if I max out the troops, we'll bring 41,000 troops, but we'll only be able to mobilize for 23 days. No, that's not what, I, what that means. We'll only be able to bring 100 and. 20 days. We'll only be able to bring 90 days worth of supplies. Okay, I think we're not going to be able to bring the biggest army we could possibly compose. We just are going to have to actually do better than his generals, which we should be able to do. Some of the officers have missions. Deploying will abort all missions. You all should continue, yeah. So we're not going to hire that one person. That we were going to go hire. I guess you're not you're not going with us so you can do whatever you need to do so we need to advance past Tulao gate on Liu Biao and yes we had our big fight with Yuan Shao and then spent a year hanging around in the city building it up We should be marching on through here now. But we're not. Oh, I guess we were preparing. Ah, springtime, and young men's thoughts turn to murder. Who Young has insufficient gold reserves to pay officers, angering many. The name of Sun Jin has become famous across the land. They are impressed by the way he can't afford to pay his own people. So that was interesting timing. So I feel like we should be able to win this. Um, even though we're outnumbered. For one thing, their force is split. So we can defeat the troops outside of here. They're moving 
kind of behind their own gates, it looks like. This is not the same castle we attacked before, but for a minute there I thought it was. It's getting kind of confused. So I want to go through that gate, and then this gate. Uh, because they've got more defenses over here. But I do want to take that little camp, and this camp. They've got a couple of units of 5,000 over there. We'll let Ling Tsao on his own attack this base over here. So I was saying I'd break through here, but maybe... Yeah, they got like a little corridor of death waiting for us over there. But I do want to try to take out those troops before they can run. Okay, just want to grab everyone except Link Cal. If you guys do manage to retreat, that's fine, I guess. We'll uh, take out this base. Hey, we're a little dictator. As opposed to a little conqueror, they translated it differently in this game. This too is Challenger Battle. Let's let, the, let's let everybody kind of start heading over here now. Check all allies from destruction, 17 days remaining. I sure hope I don't screw this up and run out of time. That would be a shame. I don't expect these officers are going to be particularly good war officers compared to the Wu All-Stars here. Especially if we take out their morale. I didn't get a little confused there. Ah, here we go. Get out of there, Scooby. I want to fight them when I've got the numerical advantage. Okay, now let's do this thing. We've got a lot of archers, so they should be able to do a lot of damage from behind. I'm not sure why I got this many archers, but it should work out pretty well. It's hard sometimes to actually maneuver a whole bunch of troops into positions to support. And archers, I think, can actually support by shooting over their allies and attacking at a distance. And we can make uh, Sun Jin use superpower. Fierce Lion. Greatly increase his own attack, increase his morale. Yeah. He is our ruler, so we should be using him as a badass.
Looks like they are coming out after us. They're not really... Yeah, it doesn't look like they're going to make me break through all the defenses. They're coming out. And, um... I kind of wish we would hurry up and take that base there. So these guys can come help. They probably just want to order them to move, not attack. And I can figure out who to attack once they're over there and we see who's left. Oh no, Liu Qi. He was the good Liu Biao son. It was like sickly, and that's why he couldn't rule and wanted to turn everything over to Liu Bei, which is the most virtuous thing you can possibly do in the novel, is attempt to turn your whole fucking army over to Liu Bei for him to control. Defend order. That was what they used against me. Unfortunately, information increases his own defense and grants cleave. Gan Ning probably has a really good one. Grand Charge. Increase an ally's attack, defense, and morale. That would be a good one, but we're nowhere close to having enough. Command. That's the end. Wan Ji's investigation of Shangshan made a contact with the village, okay. Is this uh yeah, that's Sun Tzu himself. Or yeah. He might have a good skill. Little dictator. It's one that just boosts you yourself as opposed to your uh, allies. Desperation increasing allies attack and morale. Wouldn't be a bad one to have either. We're definitely winning. Do I have enough for Grand Charge yet? Not yet. What have you got? You've got Defend Order. Wouldn't be a bad one either. Okay, so... Wang Zhu is now in charge. And he is like the nemesis of Sun Jin. So I guess we'll all attack this camp. They're just kind of hanging out on the... Drive them through, break their formation. Are they going to come after us? Face is captured. Wolverine, well, there's no time to fight. Their morale is... Is in the crapper, okay. So if they come through and come after us, then I guess we basically are gonna win. Um, Oh, that's Kai Mao. That's the guy I thought we were dealing with before. That was Kai Mai, I guess. Um, Alright, so no, I'm trying to select Gan Ning here. What's going on? So, now everyone's going to get super attack powers. 
This is not how I will fall. This could be bad. I guess they closed the gate at some point. So we're pressing the advantage now because their actual leader fell, I guess. Oh, he's not falling. I just have to be careful. I don't want to lose any units. I think that's a requirement. He's already defeated, I guess? I don't really get it. Some of you guys come back here and take this guy out. That's uh, Kawhi Leong or Long or something. Them, follow me. We finish this guy, we're done, and he's gonna die before I can even order everyone around, I think. Just no freaking luck. Sinjin, superhero. You would think that um, Gon Eng would get some credit since he used a tactic that helped others, but that's not how it's Hmm, I rank first and carried us to victory. My tactics are tried and true. That's why I win. Where after the battle, you've been awarded a thousand gold. Everyone did well. Let us continue to do so in the future. Let us go drain more cities of all their resources and then leave. Good job, Junior. Liu Bao's rapport with you has become negative 15, minus 21. Sun Jian army has conquered Zhu Chang. Sure, I guess. I'll put, um... Putting, like, everybody over here, though. That, that can't be good. I'll bring the wife along and leave everyone else with her. Transfer... The order to transfer to Chang has been confirmed. Okay. Though Sun Jin thwarted Liu Biao and Zhu Chang, his forces were pursued by Liu Biao and barely made it to Changsha alive. Thirsting for revenge against Liu Biao, Sun Jin united with Yuan Shu and marched to conquer Zhang Jia. The battle started well for Sun Jin, but he left camp with a few soldiers, few followers to dispatch a small band of enemies who came to spy at night. I'm just gonna mosey on out here. Oh god, the arrows! Father, don't be ridiculous. The father is, don't be ridiculous. Sun Jian was sent to the camp of the king. He was sent to the camp of the king. Yeah, I shouldn't insult this camp like that. Unless you're trying to lure him out to kill him. This is dangerous. You don't have to follow the camp of the king. You don't have to follow the camp of the king. How do you protect the Sun Jian's children? Don't be an idiot. But... Yeah, but have other people fight for your ambitions, is what I'm saying. Bo Be Fu Bing Bobe. Dummy. Ni Chung Jila Sun Jia. Chiran Chi. Ni Bugo Shiga Budong Bing Fada. Yo Yung Wu Mo Jira. 
Hey, no fair, I beat you in the battle where I got to control stuff. Does the glowworm compare to the moon of the sky? Yeah, you gotta get the body back. You can't, like, build a shrine if you don't have the body. But later, boy, I'm gonna spend that bride big time. What time are you? I can't believe you be laughing at me. I'm so many. Sunsi is one of my favorite characters, actually. And, um... Once he, once he meets up with, um... What's his face there, um... Oh, sorry, yeah, because I guess Yuan Shu was an enemy of, uh, his father or baby, I don't know. But yeah, that's the end of the hero mode for this. During this excursion, the Tiger of Zhangdong, Sun Jin, was killed. That's very sad. I think they're going to explain to us now. It's very important in this game you either have sworn siblings or kids. It's the only way to avoid game over. Young Liquid Snake should take note. Along with the Imperial Seal, his fighting spirit was passed on to Sun Tzu. And so began the rise of the little conqueror, Sun Tzu. Oh, I guess they're not going to explain it. But yeah, our game would have been, like, if that, that was like a regular game we were playing, um... Well, I don't suppose we would have died in a plot sequence, but, uh... Oh! Well, well, this will be fun, actually. Um... It said Wu. Now, Lu Bu's story was called Wei. I think that's... They probably... Once we get past the fall of Dong Zhuo and all that, there probably won't be... You know, the Three Kingdoms era really gets uh, off to a, a good start. Uh, there's a possibility we could play as Yuan Shao at some point, but... Um, so she's not really a Wu officer. I figured when I saw this that, oh, you probably go straight from playing as Sun Jin to um, playing as Sun Tzu. But I'm quite looking forward to this. Backed by the might of Lu Bu, Dong Zhou's tyranny reached a few... Well, you know what? No, 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 I won't read this now. We'll save that for next time. But we'll get to play as Jiao Chan who is, and it's it's weird, it's this very old, very traditional Chinese novel where Jiao Chan disappears once her role in the plot is no longer needed, but, like, very important character. Um, there's a reason that she was, uh, I don't know, I think Shang Zhang and even Zhen Ji might have been in the Kawaii, like, Warriors games first, but, yeah, Jiao Chan... Uh, a lot more important to the story than either of them, really. And uh, it looks like we'll be playing as her in our next hero mode. I'm Mysterious JG. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I hope you'll tune in for that. Bye bye. Just want to be a little on the short side, but that's okay. You'll be okay. It'll be all right, folks. <laughs>